My brother, my sister, my dad with a glass of whiskey, <laughs> and me. Most of the things I'm sort of creating these days are kind of um, calls, calls to, not calls to arms, but calls out to, to, to young people or to people that are, you know, possibly interested in a bit more freedom and joy in their lives. So, um, which I've had loads of. And what I realised is there was good and bad. In it. But the thing which came through the strongest was this idea that what I had saw a lot of people are seeking. Everyone gathered and, and ate and drunk and then did this strange thing, dancing for no apparent reason, just for joy and togetherness. And I guess when I was young, I sought that out and I found it in an explosion that was the rave scene. So I found unity and dancing and togetherness in a massive way. And I really needed it at the time and I didn't let go. I guess I, I ran away with the circus and lived with sound systems for years and years, um, traveling around England and Europe, putting on free parties for everyone that wanted to come and experience the same thing, dancing, unity, joy. Um, and then the journey took a different route, so the outward journey and the exploration of the world around me and people and culture became an inward journey. And I, and I, moved away from the traveller scene, moved away from London to a small, lazy seaside town. I thought it was one feeling in the beginning, you know, based around a euphoric feeling and a feeling of unity, but it actually became a lot more complex and it was about connection with other human beings. Human warmth um, and the fact we all probably lack it, actually. And as, a, as a young person, I obviously felt I did and I've, you know, so it's a general experience, not, not one in particular. <laughs>